Um, let's start at the beginning, before there is even an Epica song. Um, how do the two of you, uh, how does a Epica song start? Let's say a song that you, you write lyrics for and Mark writes the music. How does it come about? Um, most of the time I, I start with music. And, uh, and what how? Guitar or? Um, keyboards most of the time. Yeah, almost all songs uh, start with keyboards and uh, then we add some choir parts and uh, drum and guitar and uh, when uh, a song is almost finished song-wise then Simone starts with vocal lines and also uh, lyrics. Yes. And where do you pay attention to when you listen to a song for the vocal lines? Well, sometimes there are already beautiful keyboard lines and uh, I intend to follow them, but if I have a feeling, mostly the first feeling you have with the same line is the best. But sometimes, I, for example, the first CD, I had one song, I wrote all the same lines in 15 minutes. And sometimes we have one song, we have to start over and over and over again. Cause and do you have to <laughs> say an example of a song of this album that which came very quickly and one that was really hard work for you? Uh, Dance of Fate, the first one, mm -hmm. that was I did that in one afternoon. That was quite fast and uh, a, a slow one. I think Blank Infinity. We had some, yeah, Blank Infinity. I think. But do you talk about it then when you when you uh, think about the vocal lines and try them? Uh, I give her a hard time. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we we have a home studio at uh, his grandmother's place. Okay. And uh, yeah. We wrote a lot of music on the computer and we just played the songs and I, I sing along. We recorded every, the things we like, we keep, and he gives some comments about things I do completely wrong. I have to well, do but again most and of again. the time, when, when, <laughs> when I'm just uh, checking the volumes, then she, she has her best singing line. And I, and I, yeah? I didn't record it. No. <laughs> okay. And then I forget again. Yeah, then she forgets that singing line and then <laughs> I say, yeah, sing that singing line again. That was uh, amazing. Okay. But then uh, <laughs> she sometimes can't recognize it anymore, and then I'm a little bit uh, pissed. <laughs> but does it also have to do sometimes because when you when you when you record, then you have to. You ha sometimes cre creativity comes when you're not uh, wanting it to come. When you're yeah, having a shower, yeah, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Now I try to to record uh, everything. Mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you even have, let's say, uh, recording facilities in your. Bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be perfect, but uh, when she's uh, at, at the home studio, I try to record yeah, everything she does. Also, uh, I, say, I say sometimes, uh, sing along this song a few times, and I go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then later on, when, when she's, uh, she's home uh, again, then uh, I listen to uh, all the WAV files uh, separately, and then sometimes there are good ideas. Uh, I, I try not to sing when there are no record facilities, so if it's a good singing line, and if I forget it, then I will feel really shitty if we cannot record it, so we record it together. And but do you have, let's say, some kind of memory recorder uh, to carry Small along with tapes. you? Yeah? No, I have a phone, uh, but uh, it sounds very distorted <laughs> when okay. I sing on it. <laughs> okay. And um, do you talk about the lyrics with each other? or? Uh, yes, we we talk of course about it, but uh, most of the time, yeah, we have also our own ideas about a lyric. So it's really a personal uh, thing, a lyric. So we, we we talk about it, we read each other's uh, lyrics, but it's a personal uh, thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not that when I uh, I say to her, yeah, can you write this way? We don't work like that. Mm -hmm. no, it's, but it's when. When I wrote a lyric and he has to do the grunts, yeah. then we sometimes have to adapt them. And then, of course, we work yeah. together. And it's also the same with his lyrics. We have to, if we have the cool singing lines, but the words do not come out that well, we change it a little bit. And that's where Amanda Somerville helps us in studio. Mm -hmm. Amanda Somerville. And what does she do exactly? She does the, the lyrical uh, uh, the changes. Okay. She's a Native American, so we know that it's correct that we don't have any <laughs> mistakes in it. Yeah. And she does also some vocal coaching during the recordings in the studio. But I can imagine um, if you sing his lyrics, mm -hmm. then you have to have 
the feeling of a lyric. So do you really want to grasp and understand what, what lyric is about? Or do you know what I mean? Because I, 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 I can imagine that if he writes a lyric that you don't understand, then you mm -hmm. can't put your feeling into it. Well, I, I know him three and a half years pretty well, so okay. I know what he thinks about. But it is uh, true that some songs I have, some lyrics I have a deeper feeling with, so I sing it differently. But it's also, it's not only about the lyrics, also about what the music requires. Wh which kind of melody you have to sing. And there are a couple of songs where I sing very emotional and some more aggressive. It's also what the music needs, not only the lyrics. So. Okay, and um, so you work together. Um, what is what is his his best quality, and then I ask you <laughs> what her best quality is. His quality. Yeah. Well, let me start. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he is very he, he's very creative, and uh, people see him as a guitar player of Epica, but he's actually the composer. He plays the keyboard and he writes half of the lyrics. And uh, it's it's a thing we discussed a couple of days ago that. When we write our lyrics, it's a part of them is subconscious. And after a year, I see my own lyrics like, hey, that's what I meant. And that's also with his lyrics that some things I understand immediately and some things I think, hey, he's right. And he writes very good lyrics, I must say. Okay. It's different than, than my lyrics. I write, I guess, a little bit more personal. And uh, I love his music and his uh, melodies. So. Yeah. Um, her best quality, I think, she's a very good front uh, woman. So, what wh what do you mean exactly? Yeah, it's uh, she's she's a good singer, but when you are a good singer, that's not enough. Uh, you also have to be uh, a kind of an entertainer, and uh, she developed a lot and uh, very quick, and now that she's really a, a fantastic front woman, and that's that's what a band needs when the front wo uh, man or woman is not. Uh, as not it, it's difficult to, to say what it, it is, but... The X Factor. The X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, train X Factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and, yeah. and that's her quality. Yeah, yeah she, can, she <laughs> plays with the audience and yeah, that's, that's really cool. Okay. And um, this album, um, how would you describe it if you compare it to the first one? What, uh, what, what is the first thing that pops into your mind? Difference or the comparison? Just what? Uh, uh, le let's say the difference differences for you. Uh, I think um, this time we uh, paid more attention to the the song um, uh, to have a, a catchy chorus because we discovered that with the previous record uh, people liked "Cry from the Moon" a lot. That's a song with a very catchy chorus. People like to sing along that live when we play it live. And we try to, to have this time more of these kind of catchy choruses. So I think that's the biggest difference, that the, we paid more attention to the song itself, to have a, a, a powerful, catchy song. But on, at the other hand, we also still uh, write long songs, because we have also a lot of fans who ask for, for long songs, long, difficult songs. So we try to have these two things uh, in balance. Okay, and, and for you, well, singing-wise? Singing-wise. Well, first, just as okay. a package, after this uh, 5.1 uh, Dolby Surround <laughs> listening session, it's way more bombastic. It's uh, I get really caught up in the music, and of course the first album was our first album, and it's we have special feelings with that, but this one is more mature. We mm -hmm. toured a lot, uh, we know how to play our instruments, and everybody wrote more together on this record than we did on the first because me and the drummer joined at the end of the the band being complete and we had only two months before we entered the studio okay. and for this album singing wise uh, again the touring I've learned a lot and I didn't have much classical singing lessons before I entered the studio so my vocals did not turn out that classical as on the first album it is uh, uh, I have uh, it's more versatile. I sing in a rock kind of way, pop, and a very intimate, a little bit airy voice, and of course also a little bit uh, classical. Yeah, because you, uh, 
I noticed that you even use your your own singing voice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go to the high register, or or if it's some some songs you start low. Mm -hmm. That's what I. Uh, yeah, I think this time it's more variety yeah. mm -hmm. in your voice, and that's uh, I think a very good thing. That was also when we received some uh, critics. Then was most of the time when there was a critic about the voice that uh, that there could be done more with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she was very young with the first record, so. She, she, there was so much to, to learn still, and and now she's uh, yeah she's developed a lot in such a, a small period, so uh, there's maybe even more to come. Okay, and mm -hmm. what what do you hope the album will do? Uh, I don't <laughs> hope that much. I okay. Just I was just see. see just see. Okay. Because when you hope too much, then then maybe uh, uh, you will be yeah. Sad in the end when <laughs> the expectations yeah, are not it's out too high, then you're yeah, disappointed. Exactly. Yeah. We just of hope course, silently, I hope a mm. lot, but okay. <laughs> I, I won't tell you. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's just like a star falling, and you have to keep your wishes uh, for yourself. Indeed. <laughs> okay. I, I hope that people will uh, will like our new album. That there is a lot of every kind of metal uh, music you have. We have a little bit of black metal. We have gothic metal, we have film music, it's, uh, yeah, it won't get uh, dull to your ears, I will assure. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome.